Hey yo guys, it's 16 Gamer here, and I wanted to make another follow-up video um, after the uh, special program, and that is because, well, I wanted to talk about um, Yanagi and uh, Lighter specifically, and basically just help you guys out, um, just in case you guys um, don't know what to do if you do get these agents, since, um, well, their best sets aren't really calculated yet. Um, for the most part. So I'll just give my insight to tell you guys what you should go for. Or basically just any suggestions, um, really, um, for you guys to basically just, um, plan ahead. So yeah, um, this video is just basically just me, uh, talking about these agents in general. Um, which is what the title of the video is. It's literally just a pre-guide for these um, agents. Basically just to um, give you guys a heads up on what you should look out for, um, what discs or drives that you should be going for uh, when uh, pre-farming for them. So yeah. Well anyways, uh, without any further ado, let's just talk about it. So um, Tsukishiro uh, Yanagi um, right here, uh, she is a electric anomaly agent who specializes in disorder damage so yeah um she also uh her uh faction right here is section six right here um so she does have a lot of pairings um if you are going to be uh, going for her specifically so uh right here um her additional ability um i will say right now is anomaly and faction so uh with anomaly you can pair up with a lot of agents you can pair up with grace you can pair up with Jane, you can pair up with Piper and Bernice, which is a really, really good selection. Um, Bernice lets you get into um, Caesar, which is really nice. Bernice can also let you get into Lucy. Um, for Jane, you're also able to get into um, Chingy, which is really, really good as well. Um, of course, uh, you could also go with Seth. Seth is really cool as well. So yeah, um, pretty, pretty nice overall. Um, Seth does get the um, additional from uh, Yanagi and Jane because uh, Seth is literally an electric agent. So he literally pairs up with Yanagi, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, as for Grace, uh, she's able to access Kaleida, which is pretty nice. And Grace does sync up with uh, Yanagi because Grace's additional is electric and her faction, which is really, really nice. So yeah, um, you also get access to Anton as well, especially if you are going to be building a um, team that revolves around uh, shock damage. Uh, Anton's um, partners are pretty, pretty nice. He gets one more with Yanagi. So yeah, um, but for the most part, as you see there, um, she does have pretty good team options if you uh, are going to be dead set on pulling her. Um, pretty much a really really good option especially since uh yanagi is a um disorder dps so uh if you do manage to pull her she has pretty nice team options for the most part so yeah um you're probably going to be set for the most part so yeah um also uh we have to discuss about um her basically besides her teams her gameplay uh, specifically her w engines and her discs so besides obviously her main disc right here which is time weaver um i do have a couple of suggestions that you should um look into so um for the most part if you are going to be um running yanagi without her main w engine the next best thing that you can go for is electro lip gloss this is a uh bp weapon um or battle pass weapon that literally right here gives you AP, which is really, really good since uh, she is a anomaly agent. And also, the effect is pretty good. Uh, when you inflict attribute anomaly, you're able to increase your attack and gain an additional 15% more damage on the target, which is really, really good. Since um, Yanagi is going to be uh, triggering a lot of attribute anomalies, especially since um, that is what she wants, since she is going to be doing disorder damage and as well as keep anomaly on the enemy. Um, with her core passive, this is a really, really, really good W engine to go for, especially if you um, just are going to be using Yanagi without her W engine. This is her second best W engine, in my opinion. Really, 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 really good. But 
there is one downside. It is BP, so you literally have to spend 10 bucks to literally get this. And not only that, you have to level up the pass to level 30. So yeah, if you guys don't want to grind, then it's understandable that uh, Electro Lip Gloss is not the best W engine for choice. Um, so that is why we have the second best thing on the A rank, which is Weeping Gemini. Weeping Gemini, you get this from literally going into Box Galaxy and buying it. That's it. That's all you have to do. Um, this is a pretty, pretty easy W engine to get for the most part. Um, it does have a attack main stat, which is still pretty good, um, even if it isn't AP. And that's because uh, this order scales off of attack, which is really, really good. Um, also, it's pretty easy to get into uh, five star. Um, which is really really good. Uh, the five star effect is pretty nice. So when you inflict an uh, attribute anomaly, either squad member, so this means Yanagi herself, you're able to get a buff that increases your AP by 46, stacking up to four times. That is really 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 good, and it can be triggered um, without Yanagi on the team or on basically. Uh, well, she is in the back lines, and then another uh, agent, let's say uh, Bernice, is going to be doing the anomaly um, attribute damage. So basically, um, you can have Yanagi in the back lines while like Bernice is able to just like do attribute anomaly, and you get the buff, which is really really good. Um, also. Uh, the effect expires when the target recovers from stun or is defeated, um, which is basically just uh, your typical, um, well, I guess, uh, battles right there. You are going to be stunning them eventually, even if you are um, using an anomaly team that has low stun. Um, but still, it's really, really good. Four times with no time limit except until the target dies, which is, um, well, for the most part, not going to be the case, especially if you are going to be doing critical node, or stun. And that's going to be taking a while for you to stun them. So yeah, you're going to be keeping that 46 times 4 um, for a really, really long time. And uh, it's a literally a W engine that you get from literally just going into the shop and buying it. It's that easy. So yeah, um, if you don't have the money, um, if you don't have the 10 bucks for a uh, lip gloss, you can go for Weeping Gemini, which is really, really, really good substitute. So yeah, um, if you do have a uh, Grace's W engine, that could work as well, but it's not as good as the ones I mentioned, Electro Lip Gloss and um, Weeping Gemini. Um, it's a bit on the weaker side for the most part because this W engine is literally made for Grace and its effect is not as good um, with Yanagi. Um, you'll see what I mean. So, Diffusion, a compiler's um, stat is Pen Ratio. Pen Ratio is fine for the most part, especially since she is going to be dis doing disorder damage since she is a disorder DPS. But the main kicker is literally the passive. The passive here is a bit of a downer for um, Yanagi. So you can get you get a uh, base 12% attack, which is really really good. Um, no condition. Uh, when you hit a opponent with an E, or when you use a special or EX attack, you're able to increase your AP by 25 for 8 seconds up to a max of 3 times. Um, each stack is calculated separately. So this means that um, you have to stance change a lot with Yanagi, which is really, really, really annoying, especially if you are going to be staying in one stance. Um, for some time and then switch to another. Yeah, so she doesn't uh, benefit a lot from Grace's W engine. The only thing, thing that she benefits from is the high base attack from the uh, fusion compiler since it is a S rank W engine. But um, the passive here just sucks compared to the others because, well, 8 seconds. 8 seconds. That's not a long time. And you're probably not even get the full 3 stacks anyway unless you spam your special. And besides, you probably want to save your EX for something later on anyway. So, um, yeah, this just basically works against her for the most part. But if you really want that high base attack, and if you just have a spare fusion compiler um, lying around, um, you can just give it to her if you want. But um, why get this when you can get Weeping Gemini, which literally gives you a better passive for free? Yeah, um... Case closed. Uh, don't get Fusion Compiler unless you really, really do want the pen ratio. Uh, just get Weeping Gemini instead. It's a pretty good W engine for the most part. And that is basically it for uh, the W engine suggestions. 
um, for my end. Um, now it's time to talk about the uh, discs. Um, the uh, discs I recommend for you guys. So uh, as for discs, there are a couple options here. But um, what I came up with right here, um, or what I think is her best 4-piece set, is Thunder Metal. Thunder Metal is probably going to be her best 4-piece set because you get increased electric damage, which is the 2-piece bonus. And as long as uh, the enemy is shocked, which is all the time since she is an anomaly agent, you get increased attack by 27%. Remember that, um, as I said before, this order scales off of attack and pen. So it's really, 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 really good um, for uh, Yanagi. It means that her disorder damage is going to be hitting hard. Super, super, super hard. So yeah, um, really, really good for P set in general just really 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 nice to go for um there are also other four piece sets that you can go for maybe um you can't go for chaos jazz but you have to play her in a very and i mean very 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 specific way because you do more damage when you're off field yeah so this means that you have to play um quick swap yanagi and for some people that might be really 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 bad um, since, uh, you do have to switch off Yanagi, which is really gonna be annoying for the most part, especially if you just want her on the field. So, um, really not the best 4-piece set to go for, unless you really do want the extra damage. Um, and plus you have to do EX or assists, which is really, really, really annoying to go for. Especially since, um, Yanagi maybe sometimes might not have her EX ready to go. Um, so yeah, um, it's just really, 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 really weird to run. Um, same with Freedoms, it has the same problem as, um, Chaos Jazz, where you have to use EX to just get the buff. So for, in this case, for Freedom Blues, you get Anomaly Buildup Res Reduction by 35%. Um, and you have to use EX. So yeah, um, this means that my only conclusion for me is that if you want to play uh, Yanagi at her most comfortable state, and if you want to do as much damage as you can without having to just uh, worry about quick swapping, just go for Thunder Metal 4-piece. Literally gives you increased attack and electric damage, which is pre pretty, pretty nice in general. Um, as for the 2-piece set, um, well... Since she is a Disorder DPS, you can go for... Yep, AP. AP is going to be the way to go. More AP you have, the more shock damage you're able to do. Um, the more attribute damage you're able to do as well. So yeah, it's it's literally a no-brainer. You literally could just run 2-piece Chaos Jazz or 2-piece Freedom Blues. Both of them have 30 AP. So yeah, it's just really, really, really um, basic in general. Just... Uh, just just uh, run 4-piece Thunder with either 2-piece Chaos Jazz or 2-piece Freedom Blues. Whatever you have lying around, um, just make sure that uh, Yanagi is able to perform at her best. You could also go for attack percent as well if you really do want the 2-piece um, to be attack percent. But for the most part, you probably want to go for AP. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And that is my... Um, well, suggestions for uh, Yanagi. So you can just take these um, to heart or take these by face value. But um, in general, uh, at the end of the day, uh, Yanagi is just a disorder DPS. So just build her how you want to build her um, with that in mind. So yeah. And uh, well, let's move on to the next agent. Lighter. So Lighter. Um, he is basically... Uh, Ching Yi, but for fire and ice agents. So what do I mean by that is that he literally um, buffs fire and ice damage characters if you stun them. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice. So uh, he does work on a lot of teams. He is in Sons of Caledon. Um, as you see here, uh, he is able to basically link up with a lot of things. His additional ability um, is attack agents and uh faction this is literally the same uh additional uh passive as ching yi literally ching yi has the same thing it's attack and uh faction so this leaves you with sons of caladon which are all really really good piper lucy bernice caesar all of them are pretty pretty good for attack agents you also have a lot of options too um since he is going to be buffing 
fire and ice agents. Two agents are going to be um, in mind when building him. It's Ellen and Eleven. Ellen is a ice attack agent. This is going to be really, really, really good for her since she is going to be benefiting from the lighter ice damage buff, which is pretty good. Um, same with Eleven. Eleven is an attack fire agent. Um, same thing as Ellen, going to be uh, performing really well with the fire buff with lighter. So yeah. Um, he also does work without needing fire and ice. You could literally run him with anything since he does have the um, uh, attack thing as his uh, additional. So you can literally just run Nekomata, Billy, you can run Anton, you can run Corin, you can run Shuiyan. Um, and yeah, uh, pretty, pretty uh, good agents overall. But since Lighter is going to be strictly for fire and ice for the most part, only two agents are in mind when building him. It's Ellen and Eleven, which also lets you link up with a bunch of other things. You can link up Eleven with Kaleida, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, since uh, Lighter is from uh, SOC, since a Caladon, you can just link up with anyone right there and you basically have the squad right there, which is really, really good. As for Ellen, Ellen uh, doesn't have that much. She has Victoria Housekeeping and one other ice agent, which is uh, Sokaku. Yeah, Sokaku. So, um, besides, uh, well, um, her uh, Victoria Housekeeping people, uh, we have Sokaku. So basically, the best lighter team for Ellen is going to be Ellen Lighter Sokaku. Sokaku buffs ice damage. And guess what Lighter does? He buffs ice damage too, which means that Ellen is going to be popping off like crazy. Um, if you really do want to uh, stun agents on your team, you can also go for Lycon. So you can just do Ellen uh, Lighter Lycon. That works too. Um, you can also um, link her up with other agents, but she does lose her additional and she really wants her additional. So you have to keep her... Um, like strictly on Victoria Housekeeping or um, basically uh, Ice Agent, so like Sokaku. So um, besides uh, Lycon and Sokaku, you have Corin and of course Reyna. Reyna is a pretty good support as well. But yeah, Ellen doesn't have that much option. Same with Eleven, but they are going to be popping off with Lighter. So if you do manage to pull him or if you did like dead set pull him, you still have some pretty great options and they are going to be buffing these two, of course. Especially Eleven, since Eleven is a standard um, agent uh, who you can basically get um, from the standard banner. And she's going to be having a pretty awesome team for the most part if you are going to be pulling for Lighter. So yeah. And that is it uh, for the teams uh, right there. So uh, if you do pull for Lighter, he just has pretty good teams in general. Um, as long as you, of course, uh, put him in Fire and Ice. Um, as for his W engines of choice, besides his main one, Blazing Laurel, you also have some pretty great options too. Um, if you did pull for any of the S rank uh, stun W engines, they are pretty great. Specifically, his best um, W engine that isn't his main one is the Restrained. Yes, Lycon W engine. Literally gives you impact percent. He literally increases days from basics. Guess what Lighter does? He does basics. After his fifth basic, he does his Oda 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 move. Um, and he literally just does a bunch of days, which is really, 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 really good. It's super, super, super busted on Lighter, um, who is a basically a um, basic attack stunner, which benefits from this W engine. Literally increases the damage from basic attacks, which is really, really good. It stacks up to five times with 6%, which is really, really, really easy to trigger since, well, Lighter's just going to be punching a lot. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty simple, really. And since his Oda 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 move comes from his fifth basic, you can literally get the five times um stack and you can literally uh, just punch the enemy to death and yeah, it's guaranteed stun right there. So yeah, um, if you just have the restraint lying around or if you have like 600 shop currency, definitely buy it. Um, it's pretty, pretty good on lighter, especially if you aren't going to be going for his main W engine. Restrained is his second best W engine. As for his third, 
Um, if you don't have the restraint, then you can go for the BP weapon, the six shooter. It has impact percent, and you also get charge when you launch a EX special, um, which is going to be once in a while. You can consume all charges to inflict days. His EX does inflict a lot of days, so it's pretty good overall to just uh, fish for it, which is pretty nice. And also impact percent. The more impact you have, the faster you stun the enemy, which is really, really good. So yeah, um, if you don't have the restraint, six shooter is definitely his um, best pick overall. But um, she, oh, he also has other W engines that you can go for. If you don't have um, money or if you don't have uh, the restraint and if you do have another W engine, you can go for Hellfire Gears. Hellfire Gears is Kaleida's W engine. Um, it is pretty, pretty good. It's impact percent. Um, it does have the same, I guess, kind of similar um, passive to Six Shooter. You literally just do EX and then you increase your impact. It's similar to a Six Shooter. Um, the only problem is that, well, it's not as big of an impact as Six Shooter, which consumes all charges to inflict um, each like a 4% days, which is really, really good up to, um, as you see here, six times. So that is a pretty, pretty big boost for Kaleida. It's only like a 20% impact increase if you do EX, but it does last for 10 seconds, which is pretty, pretty nice. So yeah. Um, but in general, um, you really just do want to just boost his impact. Um, which is, which is why I just, as you see here, impact percent, impact percent, impact percent. All of these are impact percent. Which is um, going to be benefiting lighter a lot. As long as it has impact percent and the passive just increases his days. It's just a really good W engine in general. But let's say you don't have money or shop currency or any of these uh, S-Rank W engines. Well, you still have some pretty good options right here. You have Fossilized Core, which you can get from Box Galaxy. Um, has impact percent. Um, it also increases days uh, depending on the target's HP. Um, if the target's HP is no lower than 50, you get 10% days. If it's no lower than 75, you can get a further 10% days with a increased 20%. That is on uh, 1, by the way. On 5, you get 16. That is really, really, really good. That is 32% days. That is really, really nice. It means that uh, Lighter is going to be just stunning the enemy really, really fast if you have no more than 75% uh, HP on the target, which is just really, really good. And also, impact percent. It's an impact percent um, W engine. So yeah, uh, it is a pretty, pretty good W engine. Um, really, really great. It's his best free-to-play option since all of these, well, you have to get in uh, either the standard gacha or the shop. For this, you have to literally pay for BP, which is 10 bucks. And then for this, it's the same as Lycon. You have to roll for gotcha, or you have to basically just get it from the shop. But as for uh, Precious Fossilized Core, you don't need that. You can literally just um, buy it from Box Galaxy, and you're good to go. So yeah, it's just really, really good in general. Um, and that is it for the W Engine suggestions. Now it's time to talk about the discs. And there's not really that much to talk about for his discs, because we all know... Since he's a stun agent, guess what his best four-piece set is? Yeah, no need for uh, further discussion here. But I will say this. He literally does basic attacks. Four-piece set increases basics, dash attacks, dodges, specials, EX, and inflict 15% more days on the target. Yeah, there's really nothing for me to say here. He literally increases his days and impact percent. Yeah. Shockstar Disco 4-piece. Literally every single stun agent runs this. You run it. Just run it on lighter. That's it. As for the 2-piece set, it's flexible. So you do have a couple options here. Um, what I would recommend, honestly, um, is probably Swing Jazz. Because you get energy back on your 2-piece. His EX most likely is going to be giving you morale stacks. Um, which is what you need to do his aura 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 fifth attack So uh, definitely if you do want to do that a lot more often You can go for swing jazz to get the sweet 20% energy regen, which is pretty pretty good, but 
if you aren't going to be struggling that much and if you don't want to do his EX that much anyway, um, and if you want to go for damage instead, you don't have to go for Swing Jazz. You can go for these two. You can go for Inferno Metal, which increases the fire damage by 10%. It means that he just does more fire damage on his, well, Aura, Aura, Aura. Or you can go for Woodpecker Electro. Um, if you want him to just crit more, then you can just... Uh, give him Woodpecker Electro 2-piece. Um, there are just a lot of options to go for um, Lighter, but everyone knows that the main Universal 4-piece set is going to be Shockstar Disco. It's it's a no-brainer. Literally a no-brainer on um, Lighter. He's a stun agent. Uh, Shockstar Disco increases impact and stun. Yeah. Um, as for a 2-piece set, could literally be whatever you want. But for my suggestion, since um, he most likely will be getting morale on EX, Energy regen, so you're able to just launch EXs more often. So yeah, and that is it. That's basically it for um, these two agents. So I guess I could just summarize them here. So um, if you are going to be playing for Yanagi, she just has pretty, pretty good options. She has pretty great free-to-play options as well. Um, she does the Electro Lip Gloss if you do have BP. If you don't have BP, then you can go for a Weeping Gemini. Um, as for a four-piece set, you can go for Thunder Metal, which is probably going to be her best four-piece set. Um, and for the two-piece set, you can go for Chaos or Freedom Blues for the uh, 30 AP. As for Lighter, he is going to be pretty, pretty good on Fire and Ice teams. Um, he's pretty great um, overall in um, Day's capabilities. Um, as for the W Engine right here, um, if you do have this lying around, you can go for Restrained or Six Shooter if you have BP. Same with Hellfire if you do have um, energy or if you do have the shop currency. But if you don't have it, then you can just go for Pressurized uh, Fossil Core, which is just pretty, pretty good. It is a uh, Box Galaxy W Engine. Um, as for the discs right here, um, Four Piece Shockstar Disco is a no brainer. You should run this. And as for the two-piece set, it could either be Swing Jazz if you want the EXs or Inferno or Woodpecker Electro, depending on how much damage you want to do. So yeah, but that's basically it. You have the Disorder Queen of the game and you have the Fire and Ice Buffer uh, stun of the game. So yeah, pick and choose. Um, if you're going to be playing for Yanagi or um, Lighter, I will say this. Good luck to everyone who is pulling them. And that is basically it for um, this uh, video, this guide video. So if you do guys enjoy my explanations and if you want to see more content like this and support the channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. It really does mean a lot if you do do that. Um, if you do support the channel, helps me keep me made, motivated and making more videos and to pump out content for you guys. So again, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel if you guys did that. Um, without you guys, I wouldn't be here. So again, thank you guys so much uh, for supporting. As for the comments down below, um, what do you think about um, Yanagi and Lighter? Um, you think they are OP? You think they are not? Um, as for Yanagi, are you going to be pulling for her? Are you not going to be pulling for her? If you have any other suggestions for Yanagi, what are they? Um, did I miss any W engines or this I should uh, mention? Let me know in the comments down below. Same with Lighter. Um, if I missed any W engines or discs, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, I will be uh, replying and discussing with you guys there. So yeah. And well, as always, thank you guys for watching this Yanagi and Lighter guide video. And I'll see you guys in the next gotcha video.